I'm Paul Baker, and I make constructed sculptures. I got started in art making jewelry for an old girlfriend. It was the 80s, and I created these whimsical brooches with small test tubes, typewriter keys, charms, and other assorted things. Although they were popular, I realized the brooches didn't have enough room for the stories I wanted to tell. I had to work on a bigger scale. This general style is called assemblage, or found object. For me, constructed sculpture is more accurate, since I build most of every piece from scratch. My technique involves a combination of craftsmanship and mechanical engineering, plus taking common objects and imbuing them with new meaning through unique compositions and juxtapositions. Each title is significant and guides the viewer's interpretation. My pieces in particular are full of metaphor and meaning and engage all the senses. Larger pieces can take about three years to complete. I'll start by having an idea for a theme, like memory, chance, or love. I browse flea markets and yard sales looking for relics and materials that relate to the theme. Sometimes I won't know what I'm looking for until I see it. I'll then spend several months sketching, building foam prototypes, and finally meticulously crafting the piece. It's multimedia in the original sense, with stone, metal, wood, glass, and even liquids and gases. For my art, interaction with the viewer is an essential part of the experience. So, while most artists don't explain their works to the public, I'm there to take the audience on a sort of tour. My arcade machine, for example, proposes the idea that love is a game of chance that may or may not be fixed. It's now been 25 years that I've been making art, and I've finished over 30 pieces. I've even been invited to speak about my art at a Pecha Kucha event in San Francisco on the topic of renewal. And I think that concept applies to more than just my artistic style. Because each time I enter the studio, turn on NPR, and tie my apron, I'm actually renewing myself.